Hello there and welcome to Linux S2O and in this video we will learn how to install MySQL in a Linux distribution and in this particular one I am going to use Ubuntu but you can use any Linux distributions like Mint, Minzaro, Fedora you just have to use the package manager of that particular distribution for example if you are using Fedora then you have to use DFN for Debian, Ubuntu, Mint you have to use apt so it's very easy in order to install the mysql we have to run few commands and those commands i'm just going to show you and in this video you will also learn how to set it up so that you can start using mysql so let's get started with the installation process so just open up your terminal and uh, type the installation command so just type sudo apt install mysql server type in your root password and this will install bunch of different files that are required in order to run the mysql server in your system type by and hit enter and this will get around in my system it's around 30 megabytes but it can change or it can be vary depending on your Linux distribution so like i earlier said if you're using fedora or any distribution that uses dfn package manager then you have to type sudo dfn install mysql server and not apt but uh, most of the distros use apt so you probably be using a distribution that use advanced package management tool so just run that command so the installation is done now let's see whether the mysql server is up and running in the system or not so you can type system cl ctl and type status then type mysql and this will give you a status of the mysql and you you can see it is active and running now for the first time when you install the mysql server you have to make it secure and for that you have to run a command so this is mysql secure installation command so just let me just clean the window here and uh, run sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation so this makes sure your installation is secure so hit enter and this will ask you a bunch of questions for example do you want to validate through a password then you can type yes and it will give you three levels of the password choose any level for this demonstration i'm going to choose the level two the medium level and for that you have to make the password up to eight character at least eight character numeric mixed case and special character as well so i'm going to type two here and i'm going to make it so i have entered the password and this is saying the strength of the password is 100 percent that means the password is really, really difficult to crack and then it is asking me do you wish to continue with the password provided just type yes and uh, do you want to remove the anonymous user so by default it comes with the anonymous user so you can remove that for now i'm not going to remove this anonymous user so i'm going to hit no and uh, next thing it is saying that normally root should only be allowed to connect with the local host this ensures that someone cannot guess the root password from the network this allow root logins remotely so if you do not want a root login from a remote location so you can disallow it so i'm going to disallow it and this is a good practice then remove test databases and access to it so if you want to remove the test database you can type by and it will remove the test database then reload the privilege table now so this will flush all the privileges hit by again and everything is done now we will log into the mysql and see how it is so i'm just going to press ctrl l and this will clean the terminal now just type sudo mysql and hit enter and you are logged in into the mysql you can type show databases if it has any kind of data so currently there, these are the default databases that you get with the installation so the mysql has installed and it is uh, working fine so you can run your mysql related queries here so this is how you can install mysql in any linux distribution that you want that was it in this video i hope you find this video helpful on how to install and set up mysql in a linux system if you did then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button as well and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux